So in this film I'm going to have a look at using the new LH01 handset to control points. Now the points menu is up at the top so you press and hold and you go into the points menu. You can select the number by scrolling through each character in turn. And then you can just change it by pressing down and it toggles between straight and curved or on and off depending on what you're operating. Okay. So I've got two points here wired into a, a Lens LS150 accessory decoder which has outputs for six points. You can control up to 999 points with this handset. So if we quickly go to number one first, so we'll get this back to one. Number one, go to number two. Okay, so it's quite quick to jump between points to operate them. On the LS150, if we wanted to assign a new address, we press and hold the programming button. You do need a, a load on the output one. So it's got a red light on there to say it's in programming mode. So what I'm going to do is go up to a new number, so go to number 7, change it, so that one's now 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so allocate 6 addresses on this accessory decoder. Okay, well it's as easy as that. Just having a slightly closer look at the LS150 accessory decoder. Um, it's a six outlet accessory decoder with a three amp capacity, powered by a three amp TR100 transformer. On small layouts, you can use the same transformer to power this as powering your command station. But on larger layouts, it's sensible to separate these out and have a separate transformer for your accessories so that uh, if you're firing a whole string of points, you don't grind all your trains to halt. Six outlets there for solenoid style point motors, so Hornby, Pico and the like. Uh, in this case, I've got Fleischmann ones coming off it. And they are wired with one coil, the common return and the other coil, so left and right, and it fires those alternately. As it receives a command that it's programmed for, it will flash. If other commands it will ignore. So it only responds to those that it's programmed for. And this LH01 system will have up to 999 points if you needed to receives the commands to J and K from the track output of your command station.